about me? What, a, <laughs> what about me, girl? <laughs> what's, your, what's your favorite feature? I mean, there's so many. Good Lord. My favorite feature about you is your smile. You have a really good smile. Bing! <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. A welcome if this is your first time here. I'm so excited to have my husband here with me. Hey guys. If you remember one of our last videos, he did my makeup and we got a lot of mixed responses about that video. It was clearly the best video she's it ever done. It was not. You're clearly not. But I'm going to tag that video up here so that you guys can watch it whenever you want to. But today we thought that we would do the husband tag. So we're going to answer some questions for you guys some of you guys submitted some questions on Instagram and we have some questions here so we are going to get started and see how well we know each other this hopefully yeah hopefully we should <laughs> be able to answer these questions properly all right so first question let's see if you know this this should be extremely easy for you oh, okay what is my favorite color oh gosh gray absolutely gray and yeah. let's see your favorite color is blue that's right. All right. Because <laughs> I mean, it was a time that you like reds and stuff like that, or? Yeah, I do like red and yeah. I like black, but my favorite color has always been blue. Okay, blue, good. What is my favorite food? Now you have to think about this because I know what your Ooh. initial answer is going to be, but you have to think about this. What is my favorite food? Man, okay, this is hard because it could easily be one or the other, but I'm gonna say seafood. <laughs> what? <laughs> it is not seafood. Then it's gotta be Chinese. Chinese food. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Chinese food. Uh. I can I love seafood, but I love Chinese food way more. Like I can eat Chinese food every single day. Seafood probably like three, four times a week. Oh. But man. Chinese food okay. every single day. That's fair. What is your favorite food? I don't know if you're gonna get this. Uh some kind of Italian pasta? Oh no. No. Dang. No, my favorite food, hands down, is pizza. Really? Yes. Yeah, I would not have guessed that. <laughs> no. All right. What don't I like to eat? Um, that could be several things. Green beans. You can't stand them. I would give that as a, a point because I yeah. don't like beans at all. Green peas, brown kidney, yeah. lentil, pigeon, like. <laughs> It, what? There are pigeon something called pigeon, pigeon beans? Pigeon peas. Oh, pigeon peas. Yeah. Oh, all my West wait, Indian, pigeon all beans? my West Indian family just cringed right now that you did not know that. Sorry guys, I, I <laughs> thought she was talking about beans specifically. No peas. I said peas and beans. Like okay. no, none. Blech. Okay, for you, um, you don't like to eat any kind of condiment. He does not like mustard, ketchup, mayo, salad dressing. He's allergic to tomatoes, can't have mushrooms, um, does not like many vegetables. So there's a whole list for him. There is a list. Literally, it would be quicker for me to make the list of things that he does eat <laughs> versus the things that he does not like. That's true, I'm super picky. So that would be a really, really long list. Okay, what is your favorite feature about me? Keep it clean, keep it clean, keep it clean. <laughs> what is your favorite okay. feature about me? Your favorite feature? Uh, for me, it's your eyes, definitely. Big, pretty brown eyes, mm. I love them. Okay. What and about me? What about, <laughs> what about me, girl? <laughs> what's, your, what's your favorite feature? I mean, there's so many, good <laughs> Lord. My favorite feature about you is your smile. You have a really good smile. Bing! <laughs> <laughs> <Stupid>. <laughs> my word. When did you meet my family? Um, okay, I know it was summertime. We hadn't been dating but for a couple of months. I want to like say fall. it was like... It was like beginning, beginning of fall. Beginning of fall, like yeah. September. September-ish September, of October. 2013. Yes. And we were in Ohio. And then we went to... And then we went down to the levee. Yeah, Newport on the levee. Yep. Like that. Yep. And I met your family <laughs> at, was it Golden Corral or was no, it Denny's? Neither. 
Bob Evans. Bob Evans. Okay, yeah. And I was literally afraid. I was so afraid. Like I made him pray before we walked in because I was just like, I can't. We had a like, full fledged prayer in the car. It was like so hot outside, and I was just ready to go in and eat. Yeah, I was. I was afraid to meet the family. So yeah, that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day. <laughs> what is something I say all the time? What is like a repeated phrase that I say? Continuously? Oh, um, it's fine. It's fine. Every girl says it's fine. It's fine. But every girl says it's fine. It's fine. Okay, if you are a female watching this, do you say it's fine to your husband or your boyfriend or whoever? Do you repeatedly say it's fine? It's fine. Because I feel like every single girl, when you ask them, do you want this? Yeah, or like, if you ask them like, so how do you feel about that? Yeah, it's fine. It's, it's, fine. Fine. it's fine. And this is why all husbands are constantly frustrated because it's fine is not a straight answer. Yes is, no is, but I, I feel don't like, know is. I feel like when I say it's fine, like I'm saying, yeah, it's fine. Okay, fine. It's like an okay, okay. Um, unless you just really don't want to talk about something, then it's still fine, but it means something different. Your repeated phrase is, are you kidding me? He says that all the time to the point where our daughter repeats, walks around the house saying, are you kidding me? The first time she said it, I was so embarrassed and I realized that maybe I need to change you my need ways. You need to stop saying that. I mean, because it could be about anything. He could be watching sports. It could be about something he read on Facebook. Are you kidding me? That's what he says. I mean, she time. doesn't, I don't say it like that. Let's yeah, you just, do. Let's yeah, just you get do. that yeah, part you do. out. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> That's how you say That's cool. it. That's cool. <laughs> what are some of my weird habits? <laughs> Be nice. Okay, so one weird habit in particular that you have. What's that? Is I have never seen anybody warm up milk before putting cereal in the bowl. I, I just think that's weird. I now know that you're not alone, that there are a lot of weirdos. Girl, no, no, that no, 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 it's not. <laughs> warm up milk. It's not weird. And I need you to put it in context. It's not that I'm like boiling the milk no, no, no. or making it hot. I just don't like it freezing cold. I like a little, like lukewarm milk. But that's what makes cereal cereal. No, man. Putting no, some man. nice, crunchy, flaky cereal in no, a bowl it with tastes so some ice good cold with just, milk. Just room temperature milk, not like ice cold and milk. Ice cold milk. What is your weird habit? Oh. I know what it is. Be nice. Guys, my husband has this, and he's probably going to kill me later, but it's okay. This is going to stay in the video. He has this habit of, okay, say he's eating Doritos nacho cheese Doritos, he will put some in a plate or a bowl and then he will look to see which chip is the cheesiest and then he'll put that chip aside. So then when you look at him, he's eating his Doritos and then you see this small pile of the prized Doritos that he saves for last. Like, Judge me if you want, <laughs> but it makes total sense. I you want to save it. the best for last, you get that full blast of flavor. Oh my gosh, I like mean, just eat the chips. Like just eat it, the chips. It's not just with chips though. Like if I'm eating Ow, a steak. Oh, I know, I know. I mean, see, see. Okay, okay, it's your channel, I'm, just, I'm gonna let you have that. I just, <laughs> used, I just used a chip as an example, but it's literally with pretty much all his food. And I get it, I get it. There are times that I have done that with like something specific, but you literally do that with all your food, and I think that's weird. I think that's very weird. Well, I think you're beautiful. <laughs> well, thank I'm, you. I'm gonna stay positive. <laughs> what is one thing I do that you wish I didn't? <laughs> do we have time on the video? No, I'm just kidding. All no, jokes. really, do we have time on the video? Because I have a list. So, oh, okay. <laughs> Okay, see, I was trying to be nice. <laughs> trying to be nice, YouTube, and this is what happens. All right, go ahead. All right, ahead. so if there was one thing that I wish you didn't do, I wish you didn't have a stone face. Nobody can tell how you actually feel. And um, no, that's not a good thing. As your husband, <laughs> I should probably know how you feel. 
<laughs> in public, that's fine. In business, that's great. <laughs> you know, there's certain avenues where that's just the, like the perfect thing to have. But so you're saying that I'm hard to read? Not just hard to read. It it's more than that. Like I don't know. You're always. This is Melissa's face. No matter what's going on. Babe, are you are you alive? <laughs> like, what's going on? What are That's you thinking? That's not my face right now. now. You were, you were kind of making the face when I was talking. Wow. You, you were sitting there and you was like. Now I'm just going to have to rewind. Rewind. One of the things that you do that I wish you didn't do. <laughs> I don't like that he snores. I don't like that he snores at all. I can't sleep. I mean, I could sleep with a room full of people. I could sleep with music on. I could, I could sleep with the TV on. I could sleep if a freight train drives by. But I cannot sleep when he snores. The amount of disrespect that just came out of your mouth. <laughs> you how say that you, how no, no, that because you just said, oh, I can sleep if Amtrak come rolling through, <laughs> but my husband snoring, I can't handle. Like, what exactly <laughs> did you just say about me? And more importantly, what did you just say about the level of my snoring? Like the level, the level of his snoring is 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 serious. It's 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 like on a level that I've see how I'm stuttering? I can't even get it out. It's It's on because level. you're being disrespectful and God's not pleased with you. No, you it's said not you a were level good with a freight, a freight train? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a recap video because we got to talk about some of this. <laughs> <laughs> well, the next question to kind of just like goes right along with how we are right now. How oh, do boy. we keep our relationship healthy? <laughs> <laughs> this. This right here. Oh, we laugh. Gosh. We we can find humor in so many things, um, even stuff that we've done. Once the initial feelings are <laughs> gone, we can go back and use it as a reference point to laugh. But I think laughter. Yeah. Yeah. Laughter and not taking things too seriously. Yeah. I think that's the best, one of the best things. And then, of course, you know, you guys already know we're Christians, so Jesus. You know, having him in our lives and trying to make him the center of our home and our marriage that keeps us keeps us healthy. grounded. Yeah, and, you know, keeps our perspective good. So, mm -hmm. yeah, Jesus and laughter. Yep. Where would I love to travel? Ooh. Oh, this is easy. Uh -huh. She would like to travel anywhere that has a beach and Woo! an ocean. Yes. My yes. my baby. No, is a, a water real baby. a real beach in a real ocean. Not that brown dirty sand. A real beach with like the light brown tan sand, crystal clear water. So any beautiful island, Bora Bora, Fiji, what are some other places? Anywhere in the Caribbean. Like, okay, but did you just discriminate against the color Florida. of sand? Yeah, like that dark sand. So if we went down to Florida and they had some dark sand, you ain't going? They don't have dark sand down there. That, I don't know how I feel about that. But, <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm telling you, I'm finding some things out on this video. You got some, you got some discriminatory ways there. <laughs> now the sand has to be beige and light skinned. To be honest, not to be like, you know, about me or anything like that. But I honestly think that you would go anywhere like that we would all want to go. I would. Like, I don't think you have any like specific place or anything like that. I think it's just like a matter of just getting out and doing a vacation and traveling somewhere and experiencing it together. I actually would prefer to go to a beach. The only difference between you and I is I would not actually go swimming in the ocean. I would do all the other activities. I've jet skied before. I've parasailed before. It's so much fun. Did I play any sports growing up? Yes, you did. Let me see if I got this list right. Um, there's claims that you played basketball. I ain't never seen you hoop like that, so I don't know. All my NBA um, friends, please comment below. <laughs> lacrosse or field hockey? And I feel like it was lacrosse. 
Mm -hmm. okay. But I also did field hockey. Okay, you did both. Mm -hmm. that, so that's why I always get it wrong. And I, I did track. Yes, you did track. Did not run, <laughs> but I did track. <laughs> I did track. <laughs> I didn't run though. No, look, I did field events. I did shot put and discus. <laughs> so you did track and field. You didn't yeah, do track. track and field. I was the field. <laughs> okay, did I play any sports? Yes, up? you played football. Yes. There's more? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Badminton? What? <laughs> Water polo? <laughs> wow. Basketball? Mm hmm. There's more? There's one more. Rugby? No, I don't think you're gonna guess the third one because I don't talk about it a lot. Because <laughs> you weren't good? No, I was actually good. My brother was better, but I was good. Well, your brother played too? Mm-hmm. Tennis? Yes. Wow. That's right. Yeah, I can't play tennis. All right, how did we meet? I'll let you answer that. Because <laughs> that could be a whole nother video. I think we're gonna do a story time off of that question because that's a long story and yeah. that's a very hilarious story. But short answer is, we met online. We met through Christian Mingle. Yes, Christian Mingle that's right. actually does work. And the first time we met, we met at a local Starbucks that where we were supposed to just have coffee and then we ended up spending the whole day together and the rest is history and that was Aww. April 17th, 2013. August 17th. Yes, <laughs> August 17th, 2013. Yes, so we have been together almost seven years. Yes, wow. and then almost seven years and then five, six, six years? Six will be six years married. Yeah, this fall. God, I don't even know my anniversary dates. <laughs> Yes, I do. Yes, I do. September 27, 2014, we got married. Good job. Yes. What are some relationship tips that you have? Mm. Um, I'll let you answer. Start off with this question. Stay honest. Mm -hmm. No matter what, make sure you show each other how much you love them. Yeah. All the time. Don't wait for an anniversary or a birthday. Show them all the time. And I think the biggest thing is communication. If you can work on your communication now, yes. even at, even while you're dating, or you feel like this is the person that you're supposed to be with for the rest of your life, work on communication now because one of the questions that we got was like, what do you guys argue about the most? Oh my gosh. And it's not that we argue about anything in particular. Our biggest struggle is communicating. Communication. He communicates like, like I don't, like our communication skills and level is like two totally different things. Like I can get from A to Z one way and he can get to A to Z like, you know, 50, 50 other million different ways. Like see, we just communicate. You know, I don't like how you put that. You see, just... and this, this is our problem. <laughs> <laughs> this is our problem. And, and I didn't mean anything by that. This is our problem. I'm just playing y'all. That was just an example of how easily you right can but we communicate so differently so i would say work on communication even now like figure that out as best as possible and you're not gonna figure it out completely because you're gonna continuously learn about each other but try to make that a priority in your relationship is to work on communication Definitely. So I think that's all of the answers, so I think we're done. Awesome. If you guys have any other questions for us, you can leave them below and we can answer them to, our, to the best of our ability. We can do an updated version of this video at some point. We just wanted to take a few moments so that you guys could get to know us and learn more about us. And yeah, that's yeah. pretty much it. Thanks for having me on, babe. No problem. Make sure you like. <laughs> Yes. Make sure you subscribe. Yes. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Yes. All three. All three. All right, guys. <laughs> thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Peace. Bye. <laughs> what is something I say all the time? This is ridiculous. I can't. All right. Thanks oh. for Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You have bell. to do it again because did you see my stone face? Because you interrupted me. Okay. <laughs>